So here's another very easy idea for Christmas tree decorations. Um, go to, um, we're going to go in search. What we're going to do is get an image and we're going to search the web. So we've got Google search over here. I'm going to put Christmas wrapping paper and just check that the children know how to spell wrapping. Wrapping paper, press enter. And these um, images will appear. Now, what they've got to do is not is not to look for photos. Look for a repeating image, a sort of nice repeating image. So once they've found it, they can either click it and drag one over, or they can click it and click Insert down here. Now, depending on the size of the image, they may have to resize it. So once it's there. They then go up to crop and next to crop you will see mask image and we're going to use a masking tool so you click that and we're going to mask this image with this shape so you've now got a christmas tree at this point they can just slightly resize it if they want now they can add a tree trunk we're going shapes get a tree trunk shape if they want actually i'll use a rectangle rather than a rounded rectangle Let's get a rectangle, tree trunk. They can line it up with that center, look for that center line, fill it, and remove the outline. So there they've got the tree. And I'm just going to send it to the back so it's behind the shape. Okay, now what I'm going to do is group that. So select the two, go to arrange, and just group it. So now when I move it, it moves with the tree chunk. Okay, so that's tree one. Let's go and get another one. So insert image, search the web. It will still be there because we haven't altered the search terms. And look for another one. So let's get one completely different. Let's try and see if we can find a blue one. Oh, that's a nice one. So I'll drag that on. That's a smaller image. Again, I'm going to go to there. Mask tool, shapes, triangle. Okay, now I can uh, add another rectangle. Okay, and what I'm actually going to do is fill it with blue, I think. Fill it with a blue gradient, so it's the same color, but no outline. Perhaps make it a bit shorter. Okay, and again, I'm just going to group those two. Okay. I'm going to drag them just there, and that one's in the front. Okay, so let's do a third one. Oh, still there. Why don't we get one contrasting colour to the ones we've got? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see, we'll get Christmassy red. That's probably a nice one. Oh, that's a larger image. Resize it a bit. Now they can make as many trees as they like and I'll just add a rectangle. And remove the outline. Okay, now what they can do is they can alter the arrangement. So at the moment the red one is at the front. I just ungroup that because I think I grouped the whole, whole lot there, didn't I? Just click that and then hold finger control and click the thing so you just group those two shapes. Now if they can alter it by if they wanted that in front of the red one, they could go arrange, order, bring to front. And this is altering the layers. So they can arrange the trees in the way that they want, and they can resize them to make them fatter, taller, however they want. Once we've done that, they can add a background. So this time we're going to change it. I'm going to put um, snowy landscape, maybe, or a snowy night. I'll oh, find a nice picture. Yeah, there's plenty there. So let's drag. Actually, that one's quite nice. Let's drag this one. So you drag it on. May need to resize it. 
stretch it. Now at the moment, this layer, this image layer is at the front. So you go arrange, order, and send it to the back. You can then move your trees around as you like. Right, you can also add on your tree, decorate your trees by adding um, ribbons or baubles. But if you make sure that they are transparent, transparent images. Let's put Christmas ribbons so we get Christmas ribbons. With a gap. Okay, let's try this one. See if it's transparent. Yep, that one's transparent, huge, but we still need to resize it. Uh, let's try this one. Didn't mean to move the tree, so just do undo. So they can add as much decorations as you like. I'm just going to put on their uh, Christmas bauble, B-A-U-B-L-S. Let's see what that comes up with. Oh yeah, there's plenty there. So they can add lots of baubles to their trees. Or they can leave it plain if they want. And if they want to just use the one type of bauble, and they can put it on. They can put the finger on control and just drag it around. So they've got a few. Okay, you can add word art. So insert word art. So it says Merry Christmas. Same as in the other cards. Mary, or we'll put the Mary there. Change the font. Let's find a thick font, a chunky font. Yeah, I'll freckle face. Let's try that. Color it in. And then you can copy it. Double click on it and change the text. I'm just centering it. Okay, and there they have a nice, easy Christmas card.